Hello folks, Farm Envoy here, and this time we're going to be looking at everything you need to know about sugar beet in Farm Simulator 25. From how to plant it, how to drill it, how to collect it from the ground, and exactly what use you can have for sugar beet. So, here we go, we've got some equipment here on display. Some big, some small, and everything in between. Of course, there's other ones we've got in store that we can use and that potentially for sugar beets. Also, down the road, after this video's come out, we may get mods in that, which you can use the sugar beets for other things like other unique custom productions and more, including biogas plants and all the other good stuff. However, I'm going to be looking at the base game functionality of sugar beets and how, in Farm Simulator 25, you can use this crop to make absolute millions potentially in that. So, without further ado, first we need to go over what is sugar beet is used for. So, Sugar beet is a very high yielding crop, and yeah, you can use sugar beet to get absolute money just from the sugar beet itself. Or if you want to make more usage out of it, you know, you can make sugar beet cut using the flegal here. Of course, on the road, there may be more time make this a bit more efficient, as there was in FS22. But yeah, so the sugar beet cut, that could be used for to make sugar, alongside with sugar beet and sugar cane. Also, sugar beet cut can be used at the BGA net as a production net, so that could be generate power. And from there, you get a bit of electricity and methane, and I think a bit of digestion as well. But yeah, I do separate videos on all the productions individually done at some point this week. But yeah, so once we know about that, also, yeah, as I mentioned, sugar beet can be used to make sugar, and that can be used for cakes and chocolate. But yeah, anyway, so now I'm going to figure out how to plant all that. So if we go up here to our planters, any of these planters we've got available will do the sugar beets. See the sugar beet icon between the soybeans and the cotton there on the bottom of your screen. Personally, I'll go with the Maestro 9.75 horse or the Green Matrix as something to start off with in that. 170 horsepower requirements for most tractors ain't too bad. Yeah, you can go 150 for like the Amazons or the Coon Maxima free till. Or if you want to go with something a bit more larger than that. So the Horse Maestro 2450 or the Kinsey Blue Drive is what I would go with. Personally, if you can afford it and got the horsepower to back it up. Fridge 50 horsepower at quarter of a mil. This could do 18.2 meters at 11 miles an hour. And this one particularly is 12 slots on console. The Horse Maestro. 17 slots, but slot count in FS25 is not an issue. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a separate video on slot counts and all that and explain why, how some people are using their rag over the reducing slot count is a bit meaningless, meaningless than that. But yeah, that's for another video. Of course, once you plant your sugar beet into the ground, you'll need to roll it. So at the moment, we've got two rollers available. Also, you can do preventive spraying or prevent, preventing weeds from popping up. So... Once again, I will be doing a separate video on that. Now I've go down to harvesting it. So it's a root crop where you need to shave off the top of the head. So as you can see here, I've got a massive sugar beet field here. So I merged fields one and two here on Junta Pantai. I already got two harvesters in the field for something separate. And actually, I think it was a good point because you can see the difference here. So here we got... The leaves now so this one needs to be chopped off and that will leave the sugar beets ready to be picked up so depends on what setup you're going with at the moment we got really two options so you got a self-propelled option or another option that involves using two bits of equipment potentially you can do it with one tractor if you want but it's going to take twice as long so yeah so go into our beet harvesters start off we've got the and amities and that so you've got the defoliator to what's that defoliator that so this will remove i see on the bottom left says before sugar beets can be harvested the foliage needs to be cut with a holland topper then after that you can go with the harvester scrub and that will scoop it up so have a bit of a closer look this is pretty sick now it's actually a new equipment for fs25 have not seen this in fs22 now or fs19 and trust me, I have tested this, and it's actually quite a good bit of a kit. Otherwise, if you want to do that, if you want to do an all-in-one setup, then you go with self-propelled options. So, 
Also, you've got the Terranos 540, so a newer model, and a Ripper Tiger S. Me personally, I've always been driven into the Terranoses and that, but at the end of the day, that's a personal preference. Even though the difference in the two is slightly larger capacity. Also, with the headers out, the Homer HR6, that's 2.7 meters at 6 miles an hour. Compared to the Ropa at 4 meters at 6 miles an hour. And yeah, if you also got this, this is the AgriFat Light Track, and it's 527 grand. It does not say what we're working with here, so as of this, I'm recording this the day after FS25 has come out because I spent the last 24 hours, literally the last 24 hours, doing lots of testing, prep working out on videos that I've got coming up very soon. But yeah, so yeah, it doesn't tell you the working width. I've had to guess to say it'd be around about 4 meters. Alongside with the Homer there, so so I have four. Yeah, I think it's more four meters rather than six meters. But again, something that we can have a little quick look at if we want to. But yeah, with the Homer and the Ropa, they do come with their own header trainers if you want to use those. Technically, you don't need to use it. And yeah, there it goes. So yeah, on that category there. Also, with the Sugar Beet. Potentially, what you can do at the moment, because we've got no mods to store sugar beet in that, because if we go again into our build mode, that so go up to our shed silos and that. So, like for my test map, because this is my test map, this is for mod views and all that. I had this massive silo all the way down here, and I thought, yeah, you know, put sugar, sugar beet here, and who you, know, you can't. And when you look at some of the other options, <laughs> really there is no other options. So extensions, there is none. So what I did down here was literally, at the moment, this is where you, how would you store that? Is get a shed that. Of course, you could build your own shed that, or if you get a pre-made shed. Many options are available at the moment, base game. So yeah, personally, I'll go with what I had here, the storage hall and that, so... This at one point had, if I had to guess, about 200, 200 or 250,000 litres of sugar be there. And just for scale, how much that is, so literally that is barely half of this mega field I've created here. So, yeah, I've done that for a bit of testing in that. So, now we've gone over and talked about, you know, what you use this for. Let's go and demonstrate. So, first of all, I'm using the Case Puma here with the, what was it, the horse one, ain't it? Not the horse, uh, the Grimmy. No, it's a horse maestro in that. So, go down to our planters. So, yeah, this one I'm using that comes with as a potential attachment for a sea tank. And that's how you get this cool pipe looking setup in that. So, I've got a full load of sugar bee in that, so I'm going to head up here to plot 39, no, just around the field next to the store. And then, yeah, it's just a case of simply unfolds. And then again, if you want, you can program it to use GPS in that, so where does this 6.8 meters? We'll double check in store because I do often check it. Yeah, it says 6.7 in store. And GPS is saying 6.8. When you get these kind of differences, it does not have the impact. Now, again, I will be doing a separate video on this, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say, you know, steer and assist now, so we can do it ourselves. Sure, show the lines. And there we go. Drop it down. Control that lamp if you want. Turn it on. And there we go. We are drilling the sugar bean net. Actually, no. Well, no, wrong field is this, so. Yeah, actually, go into it, yeah, because this is a uh, separate field is this, so. So, right, now we're at the correct field in that, so. Yeah, now we can know this, because, yeah, this ain't a direct drill, so. Yeah, again, just a bit of a word of warning, depending on what you're going to be using, so. Yeah, got our GPS set up in that. So, now, as you can see. We are drilling and planting the sugar beet. And yeah, for this like, small stuff that we've got here and that. Again, very affordable that. So, 
prices was what was it? Yeah, sixty five grand plus. Yeah, eighty five grand that overall. So overall, not too bad that. Oh yeah, we're barely using any sea that man. We use like two liters in that. Again, yep. Yeah, you can set us up to do via the GPS system if you want. But sometimes when it comes to doing that, I do prefer to do it myself. But anyways. Obviously, you know what we've got here going that. So I'm not going to show the rolling in that. So, once you're all said and done, you've got options now to harvest your sugar beet. So, I'm going to use our field we've got over here. So, first of all, I'm going to demonstrate using the not self propelled options and that. So, we're going to go with the, was it am trees and that? So, yeah, we'll go back up. Yeah, Amy, Amy, Amitech, sorry. I do apologize on that. So, yeah, this is a nice big kit in that, so what I'm going to do is quickly turn on my help menu in that. So you can see there on the top left, lower topper, turn on topper, and that's pretty much it in that. So, once again, go into the field. So you can drop this down, and then turn it on. And what I'll do is, I will literally cut the top of the sugar beets. That would make them dormant in real life. That would make them dormant so they stop growing, so it preserves it over winter and that. Or at least preserves it in the ground a bit longer to be able to harvest it. At least that's how it works in real life and that, something like this. But yeah, so there we go. That is the topper done. Now we've got our section for basically after we've hard topped a section over here. Go and drop this down so. It's just going to park it over to the field. And yeah, we'll go and grab this baby here in front of the flea So there we go. And yeah, also, yeah, I do have other options for collecting it. We'll go over that in a bit. A minor little bump there. So, anyways, yeah, little harvester. Turn it on. And there you go. Option there to put the pipe out if you want. But yeah, I've got to say, this is a nice bit of kit in that, so... There we go, I thought you had to lift that up, but no you don't. So yeah, now we're just picking up the sugar beets now, we're collecting them, harvesting them in that. And I've got to say, I do love the animation of it in that, so... Can I get it set on the GPS system, please? So yeah, this is just doing the up downs and that, so... So there we go, we've got the work in that, so that's going to lower it. And yeah, literally we are picking up the sugar beet. That will get collected and stored in this little hopper over here. And as you can see, this is a very small hopper, it only holds 6,000 litres. And already that is this full, so... That is a downside to this setup, but of course now with GPS and that, and assisted steering and that, yeah, you can do it now, it's actually a bit more manageable than that, so that I am pleased with. And yeah, now what I'm going to do is go and show off some of our self-propelled options, so I'm going to go with this one here, this is the new one, the Agrifac OptiTrax and that, so unfold the harvester, L1 and X on the PlayStation. But yeah, I think this is going to be about a 4 meter working width. And then yeah, so that is ready to go. We'll drop the header. And off the way we go, harvesting once again. So, rather than you know, have to have a separate bit of equipment to do the hard top in that. This does it all in one. It hard tops the top of the sugar beet. And then harvests it and then obviously puts it into its hopper and that. So, Obviously, the self-propelled options are, argumentably, better than some of the other options. At the end of the day, it depends on what farm setup you've got here. Of course, I've got some huge mega fields over here, so... Self-propelled option is going to be a bit more desirable. However, as with everything, there is a cost implication, so... For example, the self-propelled options, you're looking at half a mil minimum. Personally, I'll skip the 18,500 litres and go with something like this. So, yeah, 45 or 43,000 litres. I may have said 30,000 and 33,000 litres earlier on, so I do apologise if I got that mixed up. But yeah, that extra bit of capacity does make a huge difference in that. 
to the point where you can have copies going, potentially you've got the money in that. But anyway, so you're back, compared to the you know, self-propelled option in that, or no, sorry, the manual uh, manual version, if you want to call it. That is what? 270 grand? Just under 275 grand? So literally half the price in that, so at the end of the day, you got the value, what is worth it. The self-propelled options, obviously, is self-propelled. The ones that you require pulling requires 280 and 250 horsepower. And at the moment, we don't have many tractors available, so if we go to our medium tractors. Yeah, so you've got something that will go over the 280 mark, just... Otherwise, then you're going to be looking into the large tractor category net. But even though, when you do consider the price of a tractor, it is about the same price as that. The only difference is one's got a slightly larger capacity than the other. By the end of the day, that is down to you. So yeah, now we've covered you know, planting and harvesting. Now let's look at what you do afterwards once you have harvested your sugar beets. So yeah, once you got your sugar beet, either you can store it, sell it at a later price. Because yeah, they can be sold at a couple of places, and they should have just had a sugar beet up here in that. But yeah, it's a couple of places it can be sold. i have scroll down to PQRS for sugar. So yeah, sugar beet in that, so we've got a couple of options to do a forest market in that. At the moment, we're looking at a peak price for it. Of course, you've set up via the train. Generally, you get more profit in that, but not always the case. But on base game map, it does seem to be the case. So, yeah, at the moment, yeah, we're in the peak price period in that. But, yeah, so if you do convert to Sugar Beat Cut, which is literally shredded it, and, yeah, that would be worth more, but it's a lot more labor intensive. And then, yeah, you can make sugar in that, and, again, that is a bit more of better usage in that. So, store it, sell it, or use it for a production. So, yeah, for example, I'm just going to show off, you know, send sugar beet. Either you could do it via like so, or more realistically, you'll do it via a train at. We'll keep this worker going in the field. Or if you want, again, as I mentioned, productions. So, that, so at the moment, base game that we've only got the dairy and the bakery that could have the use for the sugar. But yeah, so before we get sugar, we need to produce it. So we're at the sugar mill. So there we go. Sugar beet is going in. And yeah, again, I'm going to do a dedicated video on all the productions on the road, but just a quick demonstration. See, we've got a bit of sugar beet in there. Obviously, you've got options for sugar beet cut gnats and sugar cane to get sugar gnats. But yeah, how do you get sugar beet cut gnats? So we'll go over here now to the Flegal Ruby here, attached to the John Deere. So right, we've moved over here to where you'll be storing and then unloading your equipment. So yeah, let's come out of here. So yeah, as mentioned, you know, you've got your sugar beet stored. So to make sugar beet cut, you'll need the Fiegel Ruby in that. So I'll quickly show that off Nat, and I'll show you a nice little setup I've got here. So that actually will make this a hell of a lot easier than that. So, Obviously I've got to help me open up, so make sure you do have a weight, because it does get pretty heavy, and I've got the 2.5 ton weight, so not the biggest weight available, but not too far off, so yeah, something like this, perhaps you could do with a smaller tray or that. But you press L1 and then try and, sorry, L1 and square on the PlayStation, and that will shred it. So now we get sugar be cut. However, there is plenty of ways for this to be a bit more efficient, especially when we're going to have potential issues like this. So, let me get this off a sec. So, alright, I did have to be admit, do a bit of a cheeky reset there because, yeah, I got an absolute way. So, yeah, let's just show you some of the issues potentially now. But, you see, what I'm doing over here, I'm going to get a little sock pole here on the ground. Because yeah, at the moment we don't have any solos or anything like that, you know, to store sugar beet, sugar beet cut. I would have thought at least base game wise there would have been some kind of silo for this and that, or... I think this is like this is the best we're going to get, so... Using the Volvo wheel loader... We've got 10,000 litres... And all we need to do is just... 
Let's go and start tipping this. Just to the point that's filling that up and that's so there we go, just a bit more. And then yeah, that's filled up. Then you sort of see what we're doing, that is just infinitely going. And I gotta say, from third person, that looks absolutely sick, that does he? <laughs> keep on chopping, keep on chopping, baby. And obviously, yeah, you can speed this up a little bit if you want. Well, it's down to the limit of the Flegal Ruby and that. But yeah, so you thought a good way to get a bit of chopped sugar beets. Yeah, spend what? Quarter of a mil French grant on this massive wielder with the 10,000 year bucket. But even if you want to lease it now, because how much would this be cost to lease this to. Okay, 300 grand, so leasing 15 grand. If you're doing a large enough sugar beets, and I like Mega Fields we're doing in that, or we're doing, on Fields 1 and 2 here on the Hunton Pante. Hunton Pante, or whatever it is, I can't remember the top of my head. But yeah, you can absolutely make that money back and then more, especially if you're using that and sugar beets. Things like, you know, using it for sugar beet for sugar, and then sugar beet cuts for the BG and that. So, again, just shows you the possibilities in that. Oop. Okay, that's a bit of a cock up there, so, yeah, just be a bit careful. And then, yeah. All you have to do is then scoop this up, so either do it with this, or do it with the wheel loader. And then yeah, load it into whatever trailer or silo you want, because yeah, down the road we're going to have mods for this and that. Or mods for storage, and better mods for, for chopping up this, so that is one way. But now what I'm going to do is quickly go into build mode. Get rid of all that, so... Yes, yeah, just gonna ping that over. Cause now, there we go. Eventually, it rendered out. So, another way to deal with your sugar beets now, especially with the FS22, we had the introduction of the bell and pad storage. And if we go into our silos in build mode, go down here. We do have one as part of the base game, and that is 250 pads and bells it can hold. Of course, down the road we're going to have mods and that, so things like that would be a thousand, two thousand capacity in that. But yeah, so what you can do is load your sugar beet onto here. This is the Grimmy RH2460. And you can sort of see here we've got an option to create pallets, that pallet creation. So if you press L1 and square, now that is going to fill it out with pallets. And yeah, so it's not liftable, but weighs 600 kilograms. So with just one belt and pad storage, this could hold or create 250,000 years of just pallets and that. And again, that's going to be another test I want to do now, is the pallet limit, so... Obviously you want to keep on having pads being produced. Just gently move forward. There we go, that's filling up. And then, yeah, just keep on rinsing and rinsing and rinsing the peat. There we go, like so. And yeah, just keep on doing it to your heart's content. Store these into the silos or the bell and pad storage once you hit that limit. And then, yeah, Bob's your uncle. But now, finally, to wrap this up. Again, this is a bit of equipment. It's not often used, but it is a very good piece of kit. Especially something like here and that. You know, we've got a... Basically, an open pit storage in a way. So, this is the Europa Mouse, is it? Yep, the mouse. The mouse. So, yeah, this is an awesome big kit where it's just got counterbalance, it's got shoots in that. Almost something like you'll see on a quarry in that. So, what you do is press L1 and then circle to lower it. There is controls in that. So, L1 and then right stick left to right. Adjust this the pipe on the out and Lastly, that will adjust the counterweight. And then with L1 right stick up and down, that just adjusts that. And then, yeah, got more options to move it. Probably press L1 or R1 right stick left to right. And then up and down. Ah, so yeah, that does the cap position. So you feel a bit more immersion, you know, have a proper form set up. So, alright, so raise the header up. 
I'll call it a header in that, so that is picking that up. And then yeah, so we've got an option to press L1 R1 and unload here. And then yeah, so sort of see what we're getting at. We are transferring it from the pit. Yeah, at the moment we're doing it onto the ground, but just imagine you know things like again the Fugle Ruby Nats, using that to get sugar beet cuts, put it into a tray to get transported elsewhere. Again, at the end of the day, use your imagination and think something like this. I will try to utilize in FS25 over the next three years or however long it's going to be. But, anyways, now hopefully you know what to do with sugar beets, how it's used, how to make the most money out of it. At the end of the day, feel free to experiment yourself. If I to recommend the usage for sugar beet, that would be to make sugar and for further productions. Yes, I know in FS22 we had the argument of pallet simulators in that, or some people tried to use that argument. But if you want to make the most money at the end of the day, then do use these sugar beets for productions. And if you've got a bit of spare sugar beet, then yeah, feel free to use in the BG in that, because that is going to be, again, the biogas plant is a good way to get money. And so yeah, I'll quickly get one whacked down that, so I'll get the largest, was that the largest one? 250, 500. So yeah, we're going to our productions in that. BGA, sugar beet cut. And from that, you'll get fridge free electricity, 42 methane, and 455 of the USI digestate. And yeah, that's good way to get money in very quickly. Now, and actually, one thing I also have a quick look at is the prices. So yeah, going to prices and that. Do we have the prices for electricity and methane? Because again, this whole new like, UI system over here now is just absolute bonkers so yeah we don't have anything like that on the map there is no cell point for digest state so at the moment as of release of this video only use for di di digest state that from the bj would be things like the slurry spread in that however it will not be too long before the likes of um who's it yeah missy b will bring out her slurry yard for fs25 whether it's a couple of weeks, a couple of a month or two, and that, however long it's going to be, that's when you can make absolute bang from Digest Say That, because when I was wrapping things up with my 10,000 cow challenge, we had a lot of Digest Say from the biogas plant, and yeah, that's going to be to make money, and all that can be powered by just sugar be cut. But, anyways, that's going to be me for today. As always, hope you found this helpful and affordable in some way, shape, or form. If so, leave a like, feel free to comment if you want to, if you want to share us, then please be my guest. But for you to do, hope you nice stay. And this will be Farmer Evelyn's stream, and I'll see you all very soon.